hi guys do you want to draw this water surface in clip studio paint very quickly i'm going to show you how to do this today let's turn up this page and we create a new raster layer and we choose airbrush and hard brush and let's make some oops you gotta choose black color and do some random strokes and we go to layer new correction layer posterization that's the most important step posterization and we change the levels to four hit ok and we got to keep fill this page with more this kind of uh, ripples but first we got to make sure we're selecting the raster layer and let's draw on this page you can enlarge the brush size a little bit to make it quicker do 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 see you just quickly fill out this page don't worry it doesn't look good we can change it afterward so why now we just try to fill out this page and see it already a little bit looks like water and we color it we don't use color bucket, fill bucket we don't make selections we go to the layer color and boom we hit change the layer color to blue and See, it gives a water color, color of water. Um, and if you're not completely satisfied with how the pattern works, you can add some or you can delete some. By deleting some, you can actually choose the transparent color and you just add some uh, blank area, white area to indicating that's uh, reflection direct reflection of sunlight sunshine here here and if you want to add some just choose black color and add at any spot you would like um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, we have done most of the drawing and if you want to give it more a perspective kind of view um, you can click edit and transform and perspective and you stretch this bottom part a little bit see so here it's enlarged the bottom is enlarged and the uh, the top is stay intact so that gives you an illusion like you are viewing from this end and this is far away from the viewer and if you want to further enhance this illusion of a distance you can create a gradient layer here to make this part a little bit lighter so but remember you have to make this gradient layer on top of this posterization layer so let's click this select this posterization correction layer and we click radiant uh, this way the new radiant layer will be created on top of that so first we have to change the color to white and we drag oops oh sorry I forgot to change the gradient color yeah I changed the gradient color let's delete this and we drag See, this part makes our kind of a like misty feel because the because the the farther away the 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 water is, it's closer to the horizon line. That means it gets more brighter, more sunshine. And this part, uh, we make it darker. Let's change the gradient gradient bar, and also we drag this line and we give it a darker tone you may change it to multiply mm, doesn't make much difference okay that's pretty much it and next step we add some pretty cute sparkles we create a new raster layer and i have some pre-made 
sparkle brushes. Uh, don't forget to change the color to white. You don't want dark sparkles. That's not good. Okay, add some sparkles right here and some in the middle. And also you may want to dab some big sparkles to add a little more variation. See? Ta-da! The water surface is down and I think it looks pretty good um, in your comic manga background or your illustrations um, and it's it's easy it takes like maybe two two minutes if you know how the procedure works and that's pretty much it for today thanks for watching and I am Grace the founder of Grace Toon Studio we do Christian manga art and I also make shot clip studio paint tutorials based on our project, usually based on our project every day. So if you like what we do, subscribe. Thank you. Have a good one.